Hello, my name is Ping Wang. We are here in Xi'an, China, in Applied Materials SunFab Module Reliability Test Lab. Both here and in Santa Clara facility, we perform extensive tests on solar modules made with Applied Materials tools. This lab enables Applied to test thin film and crystalline silicon modules in-house as we continue to improve our processes and product offerings over time. For thin film, the key certification tests fall into three categories, environmental, light soaking, and mechanical. Today, we're going to show you how six key tests are performed. Here in Xi'an, we have three environmental chambers large enough for the 5.7 meter square module for the damp heat, humidity freeze, and thermal cycle tests. These tests simulate hot, cold, and humid conditions all of which accelerate the aging process of a solar module, testing whether these conditions will cause the module to fail over the long term. Damp heat subjects the module to more heat and humidity than exists anywhere on Earth for 42 days. Humidity freeze cycles the module through extreme high and low temperatures with high humidity. Finally, the thermal cycle rotates the module through 200 cycles of hot and cold temperatures. Over 200 SunFab thin film modules of various sizes have undergone these tests and then successfully produced power. And our testing doesn't stop there. We've had modules generate power after twice the required time in damp heat. That's more than 80 days. In further independent testing at Arizona State University, Two other modules passed 10 IEC environmental tests. The next hurdle to certification is light soaking. All thin film modules require a break-in period before their power output stabilizes. For IEC certification, the modules are exposed to light and then must stabilize and generate 90% of their rated power. The solar simulator tests for power output. Our tests show that SunFab modules stabilize quickly and within the required power range. Next, we'll see the key mechanical tests. For wind load, pressure is applied to a module to replicate the stress of 225 km per hour wind. This pressure is simulated by placing sandbags on the module. We've designed a testing structure that is flexible enough to test quarter, half, and full-size modules. It also enables us to conduct the mechanical load test on many different ground-supported mounting structure designs, which are certain to evolve over time. Our engineers are placing over 3,100 pounds of sandbags on a test laminate that is the same exact thickness as the SunFab modules. For IEC testing, this pressure is applied for one hour and repeated after turning the module over. The laminate is expected to bow as load is increased, but the test reveals whether it will crack under the pressure. Applied's unique bonded rail design gives the module extra strength to support the load. The bonded rail design also removes the stress concentration from around the junction box in the center of the module. We've performed this test dozens of times under increasingly difficult conditions. These sandbags have been on the laminate six times longer than the test requires. As we remove them, you'll see that the laminate survived this test with no cracking or breaking. The last major mechanical test is the hail simulator. Passing requires that the module endure ice furled at it at 83 km per hour in multiple spots. Our test modules easily survive the hailstorm. These are a few of the hundreds of modules we have put through the tests you have seen. Day by day, we're improving this technology to help our customers deliver highly reliable, scalable solar products. Together, we will make solar affordable for everyone, everywhere. Thank you for watching.